Hey, my name is Ted Carr and I am a millionaire and in this video I want to show you three easy steps to follow so that you can become a millionaire as well and so that by the end of this video you'll have an exact roadmap, an exact blueprint to follow to become a millionaire. This is the same roadmap, these are the same three steps I wish I followed, I wish someone told me to follow when I was first getting started so that I could shortcut the amount of time it was required for me to become a millionaire. So before making this video obviously, or before being a millionaire I should say, I was not a millionaire and it was my dream to become one. It felt like a far out fantasy. It did not feel like it was something for me. It only felt like it was something for rich people to attain um, and definitely not in my lifetime. But by following these three steps, the first step of which I didn't even realize I was following until it started happening, uh, by following these three steps you can definitely become a millionaire a lot faster than you could ever imagine. I'm talking within the next six to twelve months perhaps even. Uh, if not within the next year then definitely within the next three to five years. I, I really don't see how it would be possible to fail if you follow these three steps to a T. So let's get into them. And the very first step you need to follow to become a millionaire is, at least, and these are the three steps I took. The first step I took was I became aware that becoming a millionaire was actually possible for me and then I reminded myself of that daily. I'm putting those two steps together but it's really two steps. Step one, become aware that it is possible for you to become a millionaire and step two, remind yourself of that every single day. So we're going to combine those into one step. How did I do this? I listened to audiobooks. I listened to audiobooks about how to become a millionaire, like the Millionaire Fast Lane and Think and Grow Rich and The Science of Getting Rich and all these books by Tony Robbins and Brian Tracy and Jim Rohn and all these awesome people like Darren Hardy, like The Compound Effect and The, the Strangest Secret and uh, Feeling is the Secret by Neville Goddard and so many incredible books made me aware that becoming a millionaire was possible for me and then I kept listening to those audiobooks every single day to remind myself because once you become aware of something it is possible to lose that awareness and if you lose the awareness of what's possible it'll never become a thing for you so realize that it's possible become aware that it's possible and then remind yourself of it every single freaking day what I would do is I'd go for audiobook walks every morning I put the headphones in I walk out one hour and I walk back one hour it's two hours of audiobooks. Now here's the thing about audiobooks. Here's the thing about listening to, to, to audiobook material. One minute per day of audiobook listening equals one book per year. That means 60 minutes per day is 60 books a year. That means two hours of listening per day is 120 books a year. You don't know a lot of things right now. Everything you need to know to become a millionaire, you probably don't know right now. So you need to know it. And how do you know it? You listen to audiobooks. What's the difference between a dumb person and a smart person? We say a smart person is someone who knows a lot of stuff. Everyone who talks about Elon Musk always says, oh, the Elon knows everything about everything. He's just so smart. What did Elon do as a kid? What does he do now? He consumes so many books. He's cons constantly consuming things he doesn't know about so he can know them because he doesn't want to be dumb. A dumb person, we'd say, oh, you're dumb. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything because he hasn't consumed the audiobooks. He hasn't read the books. So don't be dumb. Become aware that becoming a millionaire is a thing. It is possible for you. And then remind yourself of that every single day. This is exactly what I did. And I didn't even realize I was doing it. It just felt so good. I was like, oh, wow, I can become a millionaire. I don't want to forget that. Because there was a time in my life that I didn't think it was possible. And when one audiobook triggered that for me, made me realize it is possible, I didn't want to forget it. So I listened to it every single freaking day. All right, that's step one. Step two is to then get in physical proximity. I mean like physical, like touch the skin, pinch the skin, slap on the face, slap on the booty, give a kiss on the cheek, pull the hair, like physical, like, you know, like, sorry, I messed up the microphone there. Get physical around people, like get around them in person. There is a, there is a visceral difference. There's a tangible difference. There is a vibrational difference between listening to music on your headphones and going to a live concert. There's even a difference between being front row and being back at the, in the nosebleed seats. Complete difference. I've been front row at concerts and I've been back of the back of the pack at concerts. When I'm front row, I can tears are brought to my tears are brought to my face and the tears feel good. It's like this is beautiful. It's because I'm front row, I'm I get the proximity with the creator of the music. Versus just listening to on headphones, okay, it's something else, a different vibration. So Yes, you can learn and you can feel empowered and you can optimize your vibration by listening to audiobooks and watching YouTube videos about how to become a millionaire. But when you get in physical proximity, I'm talking about going to conferences, and going to masterminds and going to meetups and going to events and going to uh, just 
getting around, going to retreats, being around people in person, it makes a complete difference. I, I remember when I first met Tony Hawk, the skateboarder, he was signing autographs and I went up behind him and I gently touched him on the elbow to say that I touched Tony Hawk. I will never forget that moment, making physical contact with Tony, Tony Hawk. Sounds a little creepy, but I was like, nah, it completely changed my life. I was like, I touched Tony Hawk's fucking elbow, man. Incredible stuff. And then I got to hang around a bunch of other pro skaters. Completely changed my life when it came to skateboarding. Same with business. I used to sell a $297 program. And I thought that was a very expensive program, $297. And then everyone kept saying, oh, no, you need to charge more, you need to charge more, you need to charge more. And I eventually, after a year, I raised the price to $497, thinking that was a lot of money, $500 for my program I was selling. And then I sat down at a round table, a circular physical table in person next to a multimillionaire who was selling his program for five grand. And I studied him and I, I studied everyone at the table and everyone at the table besides me had a program that was a thousand dollars or more. So what did I do? I got up, I left the chair, I left the table at the end of that night and I went and I rose the price of my program to 997. I made a, create a thousand dollar program just because I was surrounded by people who had a thousand dollar program. Then I joined that guy's inner circle First thing he told me to do was raise the price, so I raised the price and then I instantly started charging $5,000 for my program. And now we charge far more than that. So I wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have made these steps to my evolution had I not been hanging around these people in physical proximity. So there is power in proximity. Just like if you hang around a bunch of losers, you're going to become a loser. If you hang around a bunch of millionaires, you're going to become a millionaire. I don't see how it's possible not to. If you're a surfer and you hang around better surfers, you're going to become a better surfer. If you're into drugs and you hang around people, a bunch of people who don't do drugs, you're going to stop doing drugs. If you're fat and you hang around a bunch of fit people, you're going to become fit. If you're fit and you hang around a bunch of fat people, you're probably going to become fat. Like You just become who you hang around, whether you like it or not. Ultimate hack. And that typically only happens. You're only going to get in proximity to these people if you continuously remain aware that it's possible for you to become a millionaire and you hold yourself in that vibration. So those are the first two steps. Step one, become aware and remind yourself that it's possible. Number two, get in physical proximity. Number three, this is what I did again. And this is what all my top clients do. We optimize our state of mind. We optimize our state of mind. Another word for state of mind is our mood, is our vibration, our, our, our state of beingness. If you compare my top clients with my bottom clients, the clients who make the most amount of money the fastest versus the clients who don't make any money at all or take forever to make any amount of money or whatever, then they just fall off face of the earth and never hear from them again. The difference is night and day. Just talk to them on Zoom for two minutes and you'll see. The top clients are on a different vibe. They're hungry. They're coachable. They don't come up with excuses. They're focused. Whereas the bottom clients, full of excuses, low energy, completely distracted, never think anything is going to work, very, full of, very much full of doubt chronically. And it's like, how do you help somebody grow their business if they're just feeling that way. We can help them once they optimize their state of being, no problem. If you go look at all my testimonials, we have hundreds of success stories. I've gotten hundreds of people to $10,000 a month or more with their business starting from scratch. And you look at all the success stories, go study them. Go hang out with these people, go interview them on Zoom, get on a call with them, talk to them. Just even watch their videos and you'll realize, wow, they have a really good vibration. These people are focused, they're clear, they're positive. They're hungry. And then you look at the people who are always struggling, always chasing their tail like a dog, never getting anywhere. They don't optimize their vibration. They're going nowhere fast. So optimize the state. You can do that with diet. You can do that with fitness. You can do that with affirmations. You can do it with good sleep. You can do that with good people around you. It's very hard to be negative and pessimistic when you're hanging out with really awesome people. So the people you hang around can really affect your vibration. And of course, like I said, the audiobooks at the start, if you're constantly programming your mind with successful audiobooks, it's hard to be in a bad vibration as well. So the first two steps definitely help with the third step. But that's it. If you nail those three things, you don't even need to think about the actual like, how am I going to pull this off? Like, am I going to sell high ticket or low ticket? Am I going to do a webinar or video sales letter? Am I going to do email automations? Or am I going to do cold DMs or phone calls? Like all the how, all the nitty gritty how, all the details of how it's going to be done, it almost doesn't matter. It really almost doesn't matter. I personally suggest selling high ticket because with a $5,000 program, you only have to sell 200 of them to become a millionaire. Or if you have a $10,000 program, you only have to sell 100 of them and you become a millionaire. But that's another video for another time. So if uh, you found this video helpful and you want my top 10 audiobooks, click the link below this video. It'll take you to a link where you can grab my top 10 audiobooks and change your life forever. All right, peace out. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.